1998, Jenny Bowen founded Half the Sky Foundation after she and her husband Richard adopted their daughter from Guangzhou, China. They named the foundation after Mao Zedong's famous adage, women hold up half the sky, because in 1998, the majority of healthy infants in orphanages were girls. That is no longer the case, though, and Half the Sky's programs benefit boys and girls equally. At that time, there were many children in China who didn't receive the love and nurturing care that they needed to flourish, not because nobody cared, but due to a lack of resources. Orphanages were understaffed, and caregivers were not given enough training. Since its founding, Half the Sky has developed various programs to fill these gaps. As its mission statement says, Half the Sky was created in order to enrich the lives of orphan children in China. We provide model programs and caregiver training designed to offer loving, family-like care to children of all ages and abilities. It is our goal to ensure that every orphan child has a caring adult in her life and a chance at a bright future. Half the Sky's Infant Nurture Program trains nannies to care for children who are up to two and a half years old. It's based on the principles of responsive care, which means being aware of and responding to a child's needs. When children in institutional settings are not receiving individualized attention, they may cry because they're hungry, but are not fed until their scheduled mealtime. Over time, the baby learns that even if she cries, nobody will help her. Even if this child is physically healthy, such a situation can be extremely detrimental to her emotional well-being with its effects lasting even into adulthood. On the other hand, if a caregiver quickly and consistently responds when her children express hunger or discomfort and feeds them or holds them or changes their diapers when they need to, it creates a sort of feedback loop. The child learns, when I cry, my caregiver will help me. This is the basis of the bond between a mother and her child, and it's how infants first learn to interact with another human being. Infants' brains are wired by interactions such as these, so they're crucial. Though it is important that orphanages have enough diapers and food and other material things, Half the Sky believes that emotional health, as fostered by their responsive care trainings, is just as important and entirely crucial to giving a child a happy life. If a child develops an attachment with an adult during her early childhood, she will be less likely to have problems attaching to an adoptive parent, to peers, friends, or even a partner later in life. Half the Sky cares for children between ages 2 and 7 by training teachers to provide groups of 10 to 12 children a classroom experience based on the Reggio Emilia approach. The Reggio Emilia approach is an education philosophy that is very creative and child-directed. Another important aspect of the Reggio Emilia approach is keeping track of the student's progress, which instills a positive sense of self. They hang their artwork on the wall, and teachers keep a memory book of the child's life. Little things like this are very important to a child who's spending the significant part of their life in an orphanage. If a child is not adopted by the time they're eight, they will then move into Half the Sky's Youth Services Program. Half the Sky provides them individualized educational and professional opportunities, depending on each child's interests. For example, they might be given tutoring for entrance exams, they might be given counseling or tuition assistance for college or technical school. Half the Sky also runs a program for these youth from across China to collaborate on a newsletter that is entirely written, designed, and published by youth living in orphanages. If a child can't be adopted internationally or domestically, Half the Sky provides them with permanent foster care through the Family Village program. Because these children also have severe special needs, Half the Sky finds families who are willing to commit to raise the child until adulthood and provides the family with a stipend that helps with their housing and the cost of raising a child with special needs. These children would otherwise be spending their childhoods in institutions, but with the Family Village program, they flourish. They call their foster parents mom and dad, and these foster families are real families to them. The China Care Foundation was founded in 2000 by 16-year-old Matt Dalio. It provided a variety of services to orphan children in China, 
including the China Care Homes, which provide top-notch medical care for these children. In 2009, through a partnership with Half the Sky, the China Care Foundation handed over operations of the China Care Home in Beijing to Half the Sky Foundation. The China Care Foundation continues providing funding for the home to this day. Today, there is only one China Care Home in Beijing. It is a state-of-the-art pre- and post-surgical care facility for orphan children who come from all across China. The China Care Home is not actually an orphanage, just a temporary place for children to live while they receive their surgery. At the home, the children prepare by gaining weight and strength that they need to undergo surgery. They go to one of the 10 hospitals in Beijing that the China Care Home works with for their treatments, and then they recover again in the China Care Home. The China Care Home usually has about 45 to 65 children living there at one time. The children are mostly babies and toddlers, but sometimes there are children who are up to 10 or 12 years old there. There's an extremely low child to caregiver ratio, which means that every child gets the specialized care that they need. One nanny, who is trained in half the sky's responsive care practices, is only responsible for three or fewer children at a time. Once a child has recovered from surgery, she goes back to the orphanage that she originally came from and hopefully is eventually adopted into a permanent family. In 2011, Half the Sky became the first foreign nonprofit to partner directly with the Chinese government to help children in the social welfare system. This partnership is called the Rainbow Program. The child welfare system in China is very centralized. State orphanages all across the country are regulated by a central authority in Beijing called the CCCWA. The CCCWA decided to adopt the research-based practices developed by Half the Sky as its standards of care for the entire country, and now all new caregivers are trained jointly by Half the Sky and the government. With these trainings, the techniques and ideas that go into the infant nurturance and preschool enrichment programs will be implemented in every state orphanage in China. Half the Sky is also creating an online resource library that orphanage staff all across China will be able to access. So far, they've already made 200 short videos for orphanages that demonstrate responsive caregiving techniques and other important child care concepts. In late 2012, Chunhui Bo Ai Children's Foundation was legally registered in Beijing as a Chinese nonprofit organization. This is really significant because now Chinese citizens can support Half the Sky inspired programs by donating to a Chinese registered organization. China has much fewer official nonprofit organizations than the U.S. does, so for Chunhui Bo Ai to be one of them is a very big step. It's also very important for Half the Sky's own sustainability, as it shifts towards centering more and more of its operations within China, run by Chinese staff instead of foreigners. To learn more about Half the Sky Foundation and the programs that we're supporting as China Care Clubs, you can look on their website or at any of the resources and links below.